Well, getting back to the stepping uh, that we were talking about last night, uh, the other thing uh, to keep in at a uh, point as well, um, we always have this uh, thing that we call a sneaky step. The sneaky step refers to um, when we just slide in, the right foot just slides in a little bit. But what that does is it bridges the gap and it gives you more leverage and more pushing power. Yeah, so for example, if you see this, if we just uh, go into grass reverse turn again, and we start playing around. I want to come in for the push, here it comes, sneaky step, boom. Yeah, so it gives you that more leverage. It's amazing how much that works. Also, as well, we have, is from here, is the follow step. What we call a follow step by Silver Star. This also gives more leverage, more pushing pass. It's amazing, hit, you can see the difference it can do. So, okay. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the camera around so we can see just from the side here. Okay, okay. I'm putting you on the side now because what I want to do is um, we always we tend to use the wall a lot, not because it's yeah I'm trying to impress or anything like that, but basically what it does it catches Dave, yeah, and uh, we tend to do old school training where in, in the classical times the, the walls is what they used. They didn't use crash mats or anything like that. It was the wall that you have to, that's good for body condition, taking the wind out, you've got learning to condition against that. But you can see the difference, because what I'm going to show you now is just with a basic push without the stepping. This is why the, the stepping is really important if you want to do more damage. So, for example, now, if I just come in here and I just push, you can see that, right? So there's the push. Now, I'm going to do a follow step, yeah? or a sneaky step. Let's do a sneaky step first. So I've been winding up, I've been around. Here comes the sneaky step. See the difference? It's come off that wall, I had to catch it. Okay, right there. So what we're going to do now is the follow step. So from here, we're coming round again, we'll circle around with the arms, I load it up, here it comes, follow through, and you can see the velocity that the momentum builds up and it just discharges into that. So the stepping becomes very, very important. When we step up, step back in. Okay? Now we can start really picking this up so it starts becoming a lot quicker. But also we can start discharging in. So when I pull back here, boom! I can also take it that way as well. So I don't have to, for example, when I'm coming in here, when I'm coming around, I can come back here, boom! I can take it there. I can take it there with a roll back loop. Yeah? Now, the other thing is, yeah, when we come around, um, Discharging here, I can sidestep here, do the slide motion, I can take it there. Yeah? Also, which we didn't cover, when we come around here, with the 180 step, you know, coming around here, there's the ball back, there's the loop there, boom! There. So they can come back together. So that starts giving you the entry point yeah, from here. So with the footwork, you can come around, you can also step, throw, and take. That sort of footwork, what that gives you is more martial and uh, I suppose you could say desperate measures, but it becomes more and more applicable. We could do this, we could do this, yeah. For example, I'll show you from this side. I come around here, I can also I can come around, I can pull here, step around here, then up, push, push. So I can do that. So it gives you my angle, yeah? But you can almost, by learning to, to do those sort of 180 degree turns, it can give you that much more advanced pull here, step back, coming, and you stick 